Hello everybody, Ben Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Mexican campaign featuring the Great War mod. In the last episode, we joined the Axis and officially joined the war against the Soviet Union, which we had been sending volunteers to for a long time, up to that point. And once we were able to get our forces in place and start contributing, uh, the Soviets capitulated. So we went through the peace conference and carved up the former Soviet Union into territory for Germany, territory for Japan, and some puppets for me. Uh, in recognition for our participation uh, in a volunteer capacity, but still uh, for quite some time. So, we are now no longer at war. However, our new allies, the German Reich, is justifying a war against the French. So we'll see how that goes. Also, we are currently working on our war justification against the Republic of Colombia, which will be complete on October 18th, so less than a month away. Hopefully things will go better than some of my previous attempts that I had to reload because they got ridiculous. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so... A couple of things we need to take care of before we get started. Now, that we have these puppets, particularly the Finnish, and this large section of central Russia, we now have access to significantly more resources than we have in the past. So we need to adjust our trades, particularly for wood. We no longer need as much wood as we have been trading for, so we're just gonna basically turn all of it off I don't think we're trading. We're trading for chromium. Yeah, we still need it. Okay. And rubber. Yeah, we still need rubber. Well, we won't probably once we occupy Brazil, but, you know, we'll get there eventually. Alright, so we are moving this army. Is it this army? No, 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 no. It's this army. To the French border, in anticipation of aiding the Germans against the French. Uh, We're also moving some forces into Finland uh, to prepare as a staging area for eventually uh, a war against the UK, which I'm almost certain is going to happen. Or, we may go to war against the Irish... Not sure. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Ottoman Empire, we have been uh, influencing them. They're up to 37%, which they may now uh, be enough influence there to stage a coup. And we have forces in region that could assist a coup attempt in the Ottoman Empire. So... That may be something else we try here. The problem is, we need some political power. And we are basically spending a lot of political power to get some of these... Uh, these things done. The focuses. Hey, mind blank there for a second. Alright, so what we're going to do is our armor that is over here... Uh, we're going to want to move that into theater somewhere nearby. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to deploy that to Sevastopol. Take a while to get there, but that's okay. And we have these guys here. Which I'm going to set them on this border. I'm going to pause. We have a lot of army experience now. Ford interception is done. 
And that completes our air doctrines. So that is all done. Uh, what else can we work on? That isn't unreasonably far ahead. Uh, aircraft are a bit too far. Ships we're still working on. Battle cruisers and submarines, but the next set are 1936. 1930, that's not terrible. 1928 is also not terrible for the next set of tanks. Or we can continue working on our support companies. These support companies are probably the better option right now. So let's go ahead and get those worked on. Alright. What can I use with this army experience? Let's see, what are we making? I really need to be not making these scouts, but I don't really have any other options at the moment. Huh. New battle cruisers. Even at 30%, it'll take us 1,500 days. Getting some more advanced carriers would... Um, interwar fighters, 1,200 days. Infantry equipment improvements. Let's just continue to work on the support companies. Oh, we're not actually getting any military police suppression bonus out of this. We need to get that. Okay. Hmm. Let me look at my research trees here. We probably might want to go for a more advanced armored car. Something to bridge the gap between our current versions and the next versions, which won't we won't be able to work on until 1934. So, let's do that. Let's improve its reliability. Up armor it, up gun it. Get a better engine. Go for it. Wait, what's this? Republic of Italy, Italy is just fighting against the Yugoslavian Confederation. Really? That's going to be a bit awkward for us to get involved in. Their independence is being guaranteed by Britain and France. Which means that if Italy goes to war with Yugoslavia, it's going to drag Britain into the war. Okay. So be it. Massive effort gives me additional army experience, additional political power, and some infrastructure and an air base in Hawaii. That's interesting. Go for it. Now, what we're probably going to need to do then 
Let's get something on this border. Well, we've, we've got some time. We've got some time. But I'm going to need something over here. To take Belize. And it means that we're probably going to go to war with Canada as well. So, you guys are going to need just a battle plan, which is going to be attack Canada, is the battle plan. Come on. That's a little weird. Put them on aggressive and just let them go. Engineer Company 3s. Field Hospital 4s. Ah. Uh, you guys head to Sevastopol. the port here. It's really annoying when they put the port on, like, right on the border between two of those provinces, and I can't tell which one it's in visually. Sure, I could click on the province and figure it out, but, I mean... Oh, I don't think we can, because... We don't have any naval access through the Bosphorus. Right, so you'll have to come in... ...another way. I will bring you into Finland. There we go. How goes our training of those additional infantry divisions? Ah! There they are. Perfect. Oh, right, 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 we got those new ships. I keep forgetting to do that. We will finish this one, and then we'll start producing the new ones. Submarine 3s. Logistics Company 4s, and make sure that we switch up those subs. Which we're not actually building any submarines right now. But let's go ahead and do that. Let's get Submarine 3s building. Let's only build... Build them slowly. And we'll cut back our convoy production. Oh, hold on. There we go. Glad I checked that. Um, 
20 submarines. Let's split off the other subs. I want you rebased to Finland. Actual new first actual new carrier carrier twos. We still don't have any naval bombers for those carriers. I set the carrier close air support. No, set the carrier naval bomber. That's right. 872 days to go. So we actually can put some naval bombers on those carriers. Why is it all of a sudden the 19th of January? is because we don't have any political power. That must be the case. Oh, I should read the red text. The action is currently paused because of a lack of political power. All right, so it's gonna be 200 days plus or minus. Well, actually less now. Improve our navy. Add some dockyards. Alright, go for it. Actually... No, I can't cancel it. I can only cancel the continuous focuses. Okay, well, we'll let this finish and then we will... Um, hold off on taking any more focuses until we get positive political power. So I'm pretty sure I cannot stage a coup. Yep, no political power to stage the coup. So, you guys, get a battle plan set up just so you can start building up planning bonus. I want you to patrol this region here. They're coastal subs. So we want to keep them near the coast. We are building that infrastructure. We do need to get naval bases built up here. Tactical bombers and airships. Should probably put some fighters out here too. I'll say 500 fighters. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Looks good. They have seven divisions. Ah, you need to redeploy to Sevastopol. Uh, the thing is, I probably can't actually get to Italy, so I don't have any access through straight to Gibraltar to get into the Mediterranean or the Suez Canal. So if we did bring the Ottomans in, that would be good. Germanic is just fine. War goals. 29th of April. Engineer companies. Might as well keep working on it. There's not much else we can work on at the moment. Ah. Let's see if you can find a way to get there. The Empire of Japan declared war on the Republic of China. I did. Well, that's slightly unexpected. Well, not really. It's just a little early for it. Especially considering they don't have their entire border garrisoned. That was a very, very bad idea, Japan. Well, I guess I can send my armor, but it is going to be difficult. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, we don't want to do that. Free dockyards. Ah. Holding off on this. The Japanese are starting to garrison their border.
Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our armor into position, then we're gonna join the war. Ooh, there's a small gap right there. Wow, free civilian factories? Let's get infrastructure built. Got some more of the infantry. All right. We have a ride to the front. It's not ideal terrain for armor, but it's what we've got. They will not allow us to join their war. Really? That's a little ridiculous. Let's start getting the improved heavy tanks. Short chromium still. I mean, I could just justify and declare my own war. Empire Japan is fascist. Minus 10? Industry compared to enemies, minus 9. Military compared to enemies, minus 10. Oh, so they think that they have the industry and military to fight this war on their own. They don't want our help. Okay. Fine. Even though you're probably at... Well, actually, no. Given the amount of territory they now hold, they may not be at a significant manpower disadvantage. I'm not exactly sure. German Reich has declared war on the French Third Republic. Matahari executed. The Dutch courtesan, Margaretha MacLeod. McLeod, I think. Better known by the public as Matahari, has been tried and executed for espionage by France. Though found guilty, easily complaints of a fixed trial from the defense attorney and seemingly exaggerated charges, such as responsibility for the deaths of 50,000 French soldiers, are arousing whispers of the so-called master spy being nothing more than a scapegoat for the army's failings. The Third Portuguese Republic has joined the European Coalition and the German... Alright. Now, will Germany let me join the war? They will not accept. Well, the Republic of China joined the European Coalition. The United Kingdom has joined the European Coalition. 
it looks like we've got a new world war on our hands. A call to arms. We accept your call to arms. All right. The game is called the Dominion New Zealand is our enemy. All right, let's get planes in position. Uh, fighters. Fighter wings. 200 fighter wings take position here and then get over France. Three hundred fighter wings. There. Get over France. Airship wings. There. Over France. Tactical bombers. Park yourselves here. Get yourselves over France. Alright. It appears to be on. Let's get ahead of the game somewhere. Um, uh, let's start improving our infantry equipment ahead of schedule. Are we at war with Canada yet? No, Canada has not been called to arms yet. Suddenly, we're not getting enough chromium. I don't want to import it from them. Kingdom of Greece? The Commonwealth of Australia has joined the United Kingdom. Dominion of Canada. Join war's request from the... F would like to help our war efforts? Yep. Reorganized Russian Empire would like to help. Yep. Get to it. Ah, the Dominion of Canada has finally joined the war. Time to absorb Canada. The Ottoman Empire suddenly can wait. Maybe. We stage a fascist coup. It's going to take five political power daily. I'm only getting two. So no, that's just not going to happen. Alright, so... Move these guys to the Romanian border. Alright, have we joined the war against... Yes, we have. Alright. Let's create a second stage. To push. It's a bit weird. Alright. Coastal defense.
We're not making any headway here. Oh, actually we have. We've broken through one section of their line. We have air superiority over France. We are advancing into Canada, largely unopposed. Uh, can we take uh, Ottawa there? We lost 16 submarines. And another one submarine. There's an enemy fleet operating in the Caribbean. We will need to deal with that. I don't have a lot of capital ships. All right, so, um, yeah, World War II has, got, has started, 1927. But we're going to have to end the episode here, and we'll see how this goes when we come back. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.